Good morning guys from the third day that Jimmy here spent an amazing time in Israel. So today is a very special day because we are moving from my house area to Tel Aviv city guys. We're gonna show you around what's going on in Tel Aviv city. We're gonna show you Jaffa, the best food in Israel guys located in Jaffa. Just to know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I'm from Israel and I'm telling you right now that the best food in Israel located around Jaffa. So we got about um, 35, 40, 45 minutes driving right now. We just get inside the car, we put some gas inside, we bought some speaker. We have some candies actually. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot about so. that. I'm about to try some Israeli candy. Yeah, baby. bro. And we're good to go. Let's go. Years ago, when I was just 20 years old, but let me tell you what happened to me. We got music. Welcome to Tel Aviv, my friends. Jimmy, welcome to Tel Aviv, bro. This yeah. city is next level than Jerusalem. Very, very different than Jerusalem. Jerusalem is very beautiful and very, very religion, man. Tel Aviv, it's like the big city life. You know, everybody's going to do whatever they want. It's like, I don't know, maybe the Las Vegas of Israel. People <laughs> told you that this is a lot city, but bro, you can do whatever you want in Tel Aviv. Nobody care, nobody judge you. Actually, it's a city of a very, very uh, gay friendly, bro. A bunch really? of gays and lesbians around that's Tel Aviv. Awesome, yeah, that's awesome. It's really cool. It's, they really support in all kind of this stuff. The city is more colorful and the view is just different, guys. Welcome to Tel Aviv. We just arrived to Tel Aviv city, guys, where everything is happening, where everything is going on here. Just parking the car. I actually need to pay a bit for the parking, but there is no parking for free anywhere so i used to be i used to use in uh, this ap application it's called pango very common in israel more cheaper very very more cheaper than other parking spots around here so it's very worth it right now we're just parking the car jimmy let's go to the our let's apartment the hardest parts about traveling to a new place is carrying all of your stuff from one location true, to another true, true. or like from your house to the first location so yeah. what we always like to do is drop our heavy stuff off the house just so you're not lugging around your clothes and your chargers your cables all of that you put all the heavy stuff in the apartment you carry your essentials and you go out and explore so we just arrived to our not airbnb spot but this is my friend spot she's living here during her personality life so this spot is very very nice and cool one the, the location is amazing guys the beach is very close to us, everything very close to us. We are at the center of Tel Aviv, a little bit in the north. It's called Ben Yehuda Street, um, number 45. If you want to come to visit, guys, you can come. Just kidding, don't come to visit, guys. <laughs> so yeah, we just arrived right now in this uh, gallery apartment, super nice. We're gonna, we're gonna sleep above us, guys. There is a big bed. It's a loft. Yeah, it's a loft. It's a very nice one and cool fridge. Yo, we couldn't ask better, guys. Cool toilet and shower spot. So we paid about 800 shekels for two nights for me and Jimmy. We're gonna split it, so it's gonna be 400 each. Maybe about 150 US dollar. Uh, but we got this amazing spot. The location is amazing. Jimmy just takes some videos for us with his crazy lens, guys. So we're actually really, really hungry. Let's go to eat something. We actually left our apartment to explore a bit Tel Aviv city. We're actually very, very hungry. We're gonna grab some local food. We're gonna just walk in here to show you what's going on in Tel Aviv during the day. The weather outside is very comfortable and so easy to be outside. So it's very comfortable and I got the sweater in my bag in case when the weather gonna change. Um, just to tell you guys that Tel Aviv is a very, very massive city, busy city everything going on here just so fun to explore for you what's going on here me and Ita here are about to go nut to butt all the way to KML market let's go guys it's not easy and not welcome to Tel Aviv we actually jump inside for this restaurant it's called Vinyad Yaman if I'm trusting to Hebrew it's 
a misada bakerem. So, like to be in a vineyard here, this is a small town. It's called Yaman Vineyard. Just very Yaman food here and Yaman people around here inside Tel Aviv, and just amazing. Hola. Okay. This is Saluk, bro, and this is Lahu, the special Yaman brand. Saluk? Saluk, Lahu. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Enjoy your meal, bro. Enjoy your fucking meal, man. We got some rice, guys, some chips, some kind of uh, chicken legs, and kebab stick. He said, Jimmy, you want chips? I said, yeah, sure. I thought he meant potato chips. <laughs> These are french fries. Still the same thing in different countries. Chips, fries, we I get it. We call Still it delicious. Chips. Still delicious. But I was a little confused when they arrived. Wait, what do you think that I say chips? Like the snack when you yeah, buy it? Yeah, like the potato chip. Like a bag. Oh, a bag with... It. Okay, and this fried chip. It's french fry. French in fry. In America. In the US. But, same thing. Yeah, so here if you, if you hear chips, it's yeah. mean this one. Piece of bread, it's called lachuk, a yamani bread. Put hummus and meat inside, then piece of meat. Don't forget the spicy, guys. Don't forget the spicy sauce. Uh, maybe a small pickle, and we're good to go. We just paid about this incredible meal, like 143 shekels. It's a bit more expensive than usual food around here or street food because we got a restaurant, we got a, a cup of wine and we got a hummus with us. It's a different experience, but it was super good. And I think that right now we are going direct to the Carmel market to show you, to explore to you what's going on here. Yo guys, I'm sure that this place is super busy. You see how the shawarma standing around there with the trina, super, super cool. On the way to Carmel Market, guys, let me show you a few drone shots from the Carmel Market here. inside to a caramel market here around Tel Aviv city. I know this market a lot of time before, very common to spend a good time here. There is a bunch of stuff to see, bunch of stuff to buy. Vegetables, local food, clothes, um, more equipment to your house, more equipment to the kitchen. And I'm so happy that Jimmy got a time to see all of it. Jimmy, what, what you want to buy, bro? Ah. Uh -huh. Some people just want to ball on a budget, you know what I'm saying? Wear some Gucci when you can't afford the Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy don't like too much to buy stuff. I know it. I know you before. I know you from Turkey. Even in Turkey you didn't buy a lot like us yeah, guys. Yeah, you bought a lot. So as you can see, this caramel market is very common to be, to visit, to spend a good time here. It's super nice. Just be careful with the fake stuff, for example, socks and pants like this and shirt. If it's worth about it, Nike. So maybe it's not a real night, maybe it's a fake one. So we literally just left Carmel Market and to show you around more, to explore more. So Jimmy got some list to do in Israel and he really want to see Nachalat bin Yamin Street. This is where we are located right now. This is a, 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 the other cross of the road of uh, Carmel Market. So it's just a beautiful street, very nice to walking, a bunch of artists around here. And uh, let me show you guys what's going on here. So guys, when you come to visit Nahalat bin Yamin Street, you're gonna see a lot of stores like this. They're designs, stores like for design your special dress, design your special suits. And this is super common here. 
And right now we are actually in Florentine neighborhood. This neighborhood is located a little bit in the south of Tel Aviv and there is a lot of a lot of graffiti artists to see here all, all, all over the world. There is a lot of restaurants, there is a coffee spot, there is a lot of people that chilling with a coffee and laptop and just working. Um, so right now I'm just gonna show Jimmy where I used to live here two years ago in Tel Aviv in Florentine and to show him the massive um, artist of Spongebob that right here. Oh my god, I destroyed my Spongebob! Oh my god! Oh my god, Jimmy! Who did that? You guys did that? Spongebob! Bro, it used to be a big Spongebob on the wall. So unfortunately, yeah, a bunch of construction inside and they just destroyed my Spongebob. Bro, so sad. <laughs> One Israeli dessert that Jimmy have to try when he come to visit Israel, when he come to visit here, when he come to visit Tel Aviv and see around is the Malabi. Malabi is amazing dessert. Jimmy just have to try. So we're actually right now going to a special place. It's called Amalabia, like the Malabi spot in, around here. And right now we are in Vital Street. Bro, here during the, the night, all bars. all bars, all people hanging out. Just because right now it's a noon time, this is why. So yeah, we are right now in Vital Street, very, very busy street during the night or the nightlife here around Florentine Tel Aviv. Just going to take Jimmy to eat some Malabi. Jimmy, for you, bro. Thank you. We just got a Malabi for me and for Jimmy. It's an Israeli amazing dessert made by a corn flour. Super, super tasty, guys. You have to try it when you come to Israel. It's called Malabi. And above the cream, you can put different kind of um, sauce inside. So I took the lemon sauce. I love it so much. I put coconut above. I put cookies and peanuts. And we, you just take it. You can take it to go. And also you can take it to sit by the glass one. You can one. take the glass? No, not the glass. Like that. You can take oh, like, a plastic one to go. Also you can order it by the app, by the wall tab that we, we use in Israel. So, and there is no just a Malabi spot here. There is a bunch of cocktails, beers, um, super tasty and super good one. Actually, I worked here two years ago and it was super amazing place to work. But just because of low salary, I have to move, guys. Right now, we're gonna take one exactly to the beach to see the amazing sunset that we got in Tel Aviv. So we just arrived to the beach. We actually wanted to do a very, very nice, chill, easy sunset. But unfortunately, because the weather right now, it's like impossible. You can hear the wind is super, super strong. Uh, so we are right now at the beach. I'm walking in the sand. We bought some beers for the, for the sunset. The weather is not um, so well to, to chill on the beach and stuff like this. Um, but guys, I think this is the end for this vlog today. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for sure from another vlog from Tel Aviv with Jimmy, what we're gonna do. Uh, I think that tomorrow we're gonna be in Jaffo, in Old Jaffo, just to show you around what's happened in Old Jaffo, what's going on there, to explore you more from this amazing town. So yes guys, it was a wonderful day. We just drove from my town, from close to Jerusalem to Tel Aviv city, we just arrived to our spot just located here um, in the south of the city very close to the beach by the way um, that's it guys, I'm so happy to be here with you again we'll see you soon tomorrow guys, bye bye